Hey everyone, welcome back to another Serpents tutorial. I was in the middle of modeling in another scene and realizing how painful it was to set origins for all my objects. I wanted quicker key maps um, to be able to change between different or origins for my object. and I didn't want to have to keep going to the origin menu or going to the search menu. So I'm going to add a pie menu and I'm going to have it tied to a similar key map as the period key for setting pivot point because I use the origin and pivot point um, often when I'm modeling. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I've already got an add-on graph set, but if you don't, just click on new and you'll get a new graph. I've named mine to set origin and I've already named my add-on so that we can get started. So first thing we do is go shift A to the add menu and the interface down towards the bottom, there's a pie menu. We're gonna name this pie menu set origin pie. And I can copy this and paste it here and just have it labeled set origin. And in order to call this pie, we need a key map. So the on key press node, so shift A, and under events, there is on key press. We want this to only be operated in the 3D view space. And I'm gonna use the period key with a shift in order to call it. And I'm just gonna give it a quick name, key set origin. And I want to change this to call pi menu instead of an operator. We don't want to call blender one, so we're going to do our own custom serpents one. And this is the graph we're going to set. So we have the set origin graph here selected, and it's the only one I have. And then we have set origin pi as my pi menu. So now I can click on the period key, oh, the shift period key, sorry. Now we have my set origin pi that's getting called. Now let's go ahead and add in the operator. Go to the object menu in the 3D viewport and under set origin I can right click on any one of these because they're all the same operator and just get the operator. Come over to the node editor and shift V and we're pasting it in as a button and I want this one to be to geometry and we need to turn on the type for this operator in order to say which one we want. So I want origin to geometry for my first selection and I'll give it the icon just standard. And then I can duplicate, have this one called to cursor. Change the icon, give it the cursor instead. And now when I call one versus the other, so like this one here, shift period, I can go to cursor or I can go to geometry. And I'm going to go ahead and add the other three menu options. So we'll just duplicate this one over. We want this one to be geometry origin. Sure, why not? We'll do that icon. Duplicate it over one more time. Change this one to center of mass. And duplicate it one more time. We'll do center of volume. That should be all the five options for that operator. So when I call that pie menu now, I've got all those five options. Now I want to be able to select the, the center type. So you can do medium, median or bounds. And I want that to be at the bottom. So we're gonna create an add-on preferences property that holds an enum selection. So you can select between those two. Because when I turn the center on, it's an enum selection. So all you have to do is add in an add-on preferences node. So shift A and we go to the interface. There's a preferences node here. Pull it out, add yourself a new property to it. And this property will be saved with the preferences. Um, so every session you open, it's gonna have the same value. We're just gonna call this set origin center enum. 
and it's currently a string type so we need to go to the edit menu and change it to an enum type and I want to add the item that matches these two so medium and bounds so add item give it the same spelling And then I can add the property by clicking this arrow icon and a display property node to go with it. That way I can show it in the display. I also want to expand this out. Um, so I have the option to select both of them together and I need a row node to show them expanded together. I want them aligned. You have to give it a label for an enum so I'm just going to say label. It's not going to do anything, but it allows you to see the options. Now I want to do this at the bottom, so let's take a look at the menu. I want to put it right where geometry origin is. So put this here. And then from there, I want to go to the next item. And let's see if it doesn't cause this group. It's probably going to put all those together. It does. Puts them all at the bottom. We don't want that. So instead, what we'll do is we'll do a column node. Um, let's see. How do we want to handle this? Well, let's see what happens when it expands out without the row node. Shift period. Meaning bounds. I mean, that could probably work. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that would probably work. We could probably make this an interface function as well. Let's let's try that. Let's just see what we want with the interface function. So you can go to Shift A menu, interface, and interface function. So add that in here, and then we're going to call the run function on it. So this is our node graph, and this is our function. And I'm going to pull this here. Let's see if that doesn't tie the rest to the row. There we go. So that's the way to do it. Getting some live troubleshooting in this video. So we'll just call this. I like to do my interfaces with UIFN for a UI function, and then we'll just say enum. Move those up out of the way. And now that we've got the enum selection, you can select between these two, and the rest are up at the top. When I select one of these operators, so let's click on one of these couch cushions here and do origin to 3D cursor. Notice how bound center is selected. But it doesn't change. We have to actually tie this property into each one of these center options. So I have to do that for all five of these. And that should be all of them together. So now when I call one of these operators, I've got median selected, so to cursor, and it should go to median. If I had bound selected, then I can change over to, let's say, geometry, and it's doing it to bounds. So now we've got a nice little pie menu. It's just how I want, and it's right next to my regular pivot menu. Now all we have to do is export the add-on out. So I'm going to click on Save Add-on. I'm going to save this to my desktop and export. And once it's done, you should see um, this pop up here. You can share it with the community if you'd like. And click and copy it and upload it to the Serpents Marketplace. You can even upload the blend file as well. And I'll go ahead and share this add-on and put it in the Serpents Marketplace. Now, if you've never been to the Serpents Marketplace, all you have to do is go to the Preferences, 
and on the Serpents add-on there is a marketplace tab selection and all you have to do is click on add-ons and you can grab either free or paid add-ons here from the Serpents marketplace. So be on the lookout for it, it'll be posted here um, and I'll just have it called Set Origin Pie Menu. Hope you all like this video and we'll catch you on the next one.